were back at the workbench, Dad brought over a ruler that measured in increments of 30 seconds, which is easy enough to convert to 60 fourths. With this, we were able to dial in this carburetor just a little bit more, just to make sure that this thing had the best possible chance of working when we installed it a little bit later today. This, of course, involved a little bit of disassembly of all of yesterday's work, but we got it all back together, a little bit more dialed in, and got it set up to install. Short version, we've been, we've got the carb on, fuel is being pumped through from this little bowl here, we've cranked it and it coughed, so let's see if it runs now, let me actually close the choke since it tried to. Maybe it needs choke. I'm wondering why there's smoke coming out of that oil bath air cleaner. I don't know, sir. I didn't think that air went back into it, but it's just coughing out of it. Oh, come on, starter. Started does not sound good. I don't know if that's just normal, it's loose, needs adjustment, or what. Well, that was something. Does it still have fuel down there? Yeah, it needs a little, a little more. I don't quite know how much choke we need at this point, but it was no, we doing don't need something. Any choke. Just leave it open. It's open. I think I'm Is it flooded now? I don't know if it just needs a couple pumps or something. Close the choke. That's, that's weird because it'll cough and do something when the choke's on.
that belt is awful. Today ended up being another mix of success and failure. We got it to run for like a good 10, 15 seconds, but it's not staying running and we're not quite sure why. It sure smoked a lot and the smoke was coming out of the tube there off the oil filler. My brain is just Ugh, the proper term for that escapes me right now. The oil filler tube is... There's a rubber pipe off that. That was just coughing all kinds of smoke up through the intake here, or the uh, air pipe here, from crankcase pressure. Now, that's not exactly unexpected. It's a... Uh, the engine's been sitting up for a while, and you can put all the oil you want down the cylinders... And it'll probably still, I mean, it, you know, once it burns that off, it'll probably still smoke a little bit until the rust is knocked off and the rings reseat themselves as long as they're not stuck. In our case, we were looking around to see what might cause it to not be able to, to run, to idle, and we came across that if that PCV uh, valve right there is clogged, then when you've got too much positive pressure in your crankcase and it's not properly ventilating out, it will actually cause idle issues. Based on the condition of that carburetor and how much soot, I guess, was on the inside, that seemed to be a possible culprit there. So we did go ahead and pull the PCV valve off. It's actually, in this case, like four major pieces the 90 degree angle, of course, this little adapter, the PCV itself, let me actually get the camera here, the PCV itself, which actually is two pieces, there's a seam here, we couldn't see it until I wire wheeled it just to clean it up, and of course that screws into the manifold. You take that off, and there's a, there's a spring in here, and a little dome looking piece, the thing was almost completely solid with just burnt gunk. It was bad. And that didn't happen overnight. It looked like it had been that way for a very long time. So we disassembled it, cleaned it thoroughly, uh, cleaned out the inside with a brass wire wheel, one of the little tiny ones. Cleaned the fittings and everything, and that seemed like it was you know, gonna help us out, but we can't get it to fire again. And I'm not sure why. The battery at the time had, a, a, you know, a lot of good power to it. It ran down quite a bit, unfortunately, but, you know, that happens. Took the thing over to get a charge on it, and yet it wouldn't charge. Said it was already at 12 volts. That's just, I wonder if we now have a starter problem. Because it was really sounding, the, the engine was trying to crank and then it was slowing and slowing and slowing down like a dead battery. I don't know. What I may do is take the battery, put it in the, in the CRV here, and let the alternator on the CRV charge it up. And maybe use the CRV's battery on this guy. Well, I don't want to be down a vehicle if that doesn't work out. I'll figure something out. But yes, success today in that it did run. It actually did run after days and days of working. We did get ah, the choke cable sort of work. We even got the ah, we even got the throttle here to work. And, you know, they're even hooked up to the right things. You know, we, we did everything nice. You know, we tried to do it right this time. <laughs> um, the last person to get under here and mess with this had things routed not quite right. The, the throttle cable was kind of just hanging loose, but it was hooked down here. But 
I don't know, I still don't have 100% confidence in my rebuild of the carburetor, even though we got the really fine ruler and did the fine adjustments, I you know, according to the video, you know, should be good, don't know. But we can certainly tell that the bowl, at the very least, is full of gas right now because it would not push any more fuel through the line here. So, I mean, unless we got, you know, too much air in the line or something, which is still a possibility, I guess. It, I don't know. It had fuel. It fired. We even threw some, some carb cleaner down there, the, some of the good, you know, flammable stuff, and it didn't fire. So now it's got me wondering, you know, do I have a spark problem? These wires are toast, and I did not realize how bad that one was. Um, you know, a mouse got in there and gnawed on it. So, of course, those are on the list to replace. All of that's on the list to replace. I'm about to have to just replace everything, you know, forward of the firewall. Well, let me not go there, because there I go again, trying to go too far when it's not really that necessary. We did have... One funny setback, I guess, the radiator stopcock there. I may have um, <clears throat> may have forgotten to tighten that accidentally and um, left us a good mess while we were trying to turn the engine. So got that shut and refilled. The valve is still kind of, it, it drains slow, so it probably does need to be replaced. I did order the replacement, yeah, as we saw in that that unboxing video but it didn't fit so the spec calls for one thing but what's on there is something completely different so of, of course at some point in this thing's life i'm sure that it went to some radiator shop they took the old one out they put a new one on of the of a similar style and brazed or welded or whatever you do with these things and it got a upgrade 40 50 years ago that upgrade no longer works very well. So, the next steps, I don't know, right now I'm just kind of, I'm kind of blah right now. I was, I was really, really hoping that once we got that fuel pump figured out, once we got this carburetor figured out and dialed in, and the lines fixed and uh, the fuel tank and all that fixed, that once it had fuel, it already had spark. It had some good blue, strong spark coming off of those plugs. Um, it sure bites, you know, because we accidentally grounded ourselves out one time. So, it should have worked. So, I guess the, the, my next steps are going to be to go ahead and get a fuel sending unit. Because I was hoping that the one in this guy... Ah, get out of here. I was hoping the one in this guy would be good. I don't know about you guys. I just, I don't want that in my gas tank. Also, the thing didn't move. I actually wire wheeled it just to get some of the, the nasty rust off it. And in the process, this thing actually came loose and started moving again. But this screw here looks kind of welded or soldered or something but you can't screw it down to anything because there's nothing to screw it down to and something's a little bit loose in there so this thing's obviously toast and i could not get the, i was going to make another gasket just in case i could use this one but that gasket will not come off it has welded itself to this tank so not only is the tank just done the cinder's done the only thing I was able to salvage was this nice cap. It's a little bit on the uh, dented side, but it actually... Ugh, holy. Are these supposed to be able to ventilate? Because it, uh, it might be too tight. You know, maybe that's why it's all dinged up. Maybe it seals too well. Yeah. So that might get replaced. 
Uh, I might just pick up the cap just to just to be sure. So we basically at this point we're gonna have a, a whole new fuel system on here, and it still doesn't run. Great. 